Hey guys, so today I am going to be doing a video on all of my favorite e.l.f. products. I have recently gotten a lot of stuff from e.l.f. over the past few years. I've tried out their products multiple times and now I feel like I have a good grasp on what I believe to be the best products from e.l.f. and what my favorites are from my collection. So I wanted to do a video just kind of going over every single thing that I think is really good and would recommend to you guys. So I have so much stuff, like um, I think maybe like 10 or 15 products, I didn't count them exactly, but I'm not going to do them in order of which I like most. I'm just going to kind of do it randomly because I actually like them all a lot, <laughs> pretty much all the same. So I have blushes, I have bronzers, foundations, concealers, lip products, everything is going to be covered in this video. The best of the best. So let's get started. First up is the e.l.f. Illuminating Mist and Set. You can use this to set your foundation and your makeup, you know, after you've already applied it and you're done. But what I actually like doing most with it is using it before I apply my foundation. So I'll go in with my primer and my moisturizer and everything and then I'll spray this all over my face and it just feels really good. It makes my skin feel super hydrated and it's like this little trick that I like to do that helps my foundation to glide on more smoothly and just kind of blend in the skin without having dry patches or you know like just uneven cakey looking foundation. It just prevents that from happening. For primers I really like this one and it is the SPF 20 sunscreen face primer. I believe this is just the original one. It says it fills in fine lines and creates a flawless finish and you just apply it liberally before you go into the sun or just, you know, before you apply your foundation in general. And I love using this because it's very smooth and it's also got a like nice slick feeling to it. So it gets like every single crevice of my face. The Daily Hydrating Moisturizer, you guys know I, I had to talk about this just because I do use it a lot like on a daily basis. It is so hydrating and it does such a great job of keeping my skin looking healthy and luminous and glowy. This is the Complete Coverage Concealer Palette from e.l.f. What's great about this is not only does it have a mirror, but there are four different shades to choose from. I'm the kind of person that doesn't like to just pick one though. I like to mix them together. Not all of them, but I'll just pick like two and kind of mix it together. I really like these first two. It's like a more beigey pink tone and then a yellowy, sandy, golden tone. But it does do a great job of hiding under my circles and discoloration and all that. So I have mine in light. There's other shades you can get it in. But the light one actually works pretty well for me. And it's very similar to the Ofra Dermatones wheel that I talk about all the time. So yeah, a lot cheaper though. <laughs> So two things I wanted to talk about are the translucent setting powder. That is my favorite setting powder from the drugstore by far out of any powder that I've ever tried. And that is because it's just does such a beautiful job of getting rid of any lines that my concealer creates and it just sets everything into the skin and it gives a nice mattified look. I don't have it with me though, so I'm just gonna put a picture up for you guys. I have not repurchased it yet, but I would highly recommend that to you. And then the other product is the Acne Fighting Foundation. I get it in the shade Beige. And not only does that prevent acne from happening, but it also gets rid of the acne that you have because it has salicylic acid in it. And the coverage of it is amazing. Like if you, actually it works for really any skin type because I have dry skin and I found that it, was, it worked really well for me. So if you have anywhere between oily to combination to normal to dry, definitely go give that a try because it is super cheap. And I feel like you get a lot of product in there too. Like I didn't, I, I used it up maybe in like two or three months or something. So it lasted me a while. Great coverage, gets rid of your acne. And overall I think it's just a great drugstore foundation. So try that one too guys, that one's good. I love the e.l.f eyeliner, the liquid eyeliner. This is in black and it even comes with a tiny little angle brush that I keep with this. Like I store it over there in my little makeup drawer and I keep the angle brush with it because it works really well and it's got like this nice creamy formula to it. No problems with smearing or anything like that and it's very very easy to use because it doesn't dry super super fast so you can blend it out and get like that perfect line wing liner with it. This first one is the e.l.f. Baked Blush and this is in pe Peachy Cheeky. The reason this one I think is so good is because it has a beautiful like pink shade to it, but there's shimmer in it, like crazy shimmer in it. And then the other blushes are the Pressed Mineral Blushes from e.l.f. in Jet Setter. And then Cabo Cabana. These are the two that I'd say I use the most. 
This one's warmer and this one's cooler, more of like a berry tone shade. So you could use either or, just kind of depending on the look you're going for. But what I love is the color payoff of these. I mean, seriously, the pigmentation is unreal for a drugstore blush. Bronzer palette from e.l.f. in Bronze Beauty. So this one has more lighter shade bronzers, which work very well for me. And they have matte and shimmer. This one's like a little bit more of like a highlight. Whichever you use in this palette is going to be great because it's going to add the perfect amount of color to your face. Just do a little bronze up action. You can't really contour much with these. I mean, even with me because I have a lighter skin tone, but I don't do this really contouring. This is more just for like warming up the face, but it's a great palette to do that. My go-to palette here from e.l.f. is the one with all matte shades in it. It's called Mad for Matte. These are very, very pigmented, and I like the fact that you have a lot of different color choices to choose from. There is some cooler tones, some neutral, some warmer, lots of great lighter ones and darker ones. You could do a smoky eye. You could do like a light everyday look. Quite a few lip products to show you guys because I love my lip products. So I have the e.l.f. Beautifully Bare Satin Lipsticks. My two favorite shades are this one. It's more of like a pink. It's called Touch of Pink. It's a great everyday kind of lipstick that won't bother your lips or dry out. It's very, very moisturizing. It almost feels like a lip balm. And then my other favorite is called Touch of Nude. So I think these are two great lipsticks to get. The Extra Lip Glosses in Mark and then Scott. So Mark is the more pink shade. This would look right over top of that other shade I just swatched that was pink and then this in Scott is the nude one they both have sparkle in it they are pigmented enough to wear on their own but honestly my favorite way to wear them is over top of a lipstick it just gives it so much beautiful shine and glow I mean it's just crazy and it feels so good on the lips you know I like these too these are the matte lip colors from e.l.f. I have them in only three shades that I really like and basically it's all of the red tone ones. The berry tone ones I feel are just not the right shade. I just feel like they're too dark and they're too like shiny for me but these the red ones are I think the better ones to get so wine is pretty good and this one is cranberry and then this one is rich red. So usually when I use Rich Red, I'll go in with a lip liner first, but the other two are just dark enough to be able to use on their own. But yeah, very, very nice. And then lastly, I wanted to show you guys my favorite e.l.f. brushes. So of course, you know I have to talk about the e.l.f. Kabuki brush. This thing can be used for so many different purposes. You could do like powder all over your face. You could use it for blush, for bronzer, to warm things up. It's very, very soft, very, very fluffy. <laughs> and. Um, it's easy to clean as well, like I don't ever notice any fallout or anything like that, actually with any of these brushes. So then I also like this one, this is a newer one that I've gotten, it's the uh, contour brush. So I'll use this if I am using like a cream product on my face, either a cream bronzer through the cheekbone or maybe like a cream blush that I'm trying to blend out, anything that's like, that needs more of an angle to it. Then I like also the, this one doesn't have a name on it, but I think it's the blush brush, could be wrong. And I use it for applying blush onto the apples of my cheeks. I really like this brush as well, and I don't know the name of it, I'll put it down in the description box for you guys, but this is the one that I use the most for foundation. It just is such a good buffer brush, you know, like no matter what foundation you're using, you just buff this baby on and it'll look flawless every single time. And then lastly, I use the blush brush for multiple things actually. This is great for setting powder under the eyes to use for blush and also a highlight. So anything like around this general area here, it's perfect. Like it's got that perfect point to it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite elf products are and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.